and the United Nations accepted it unanimously to have it on the 21st of June. And we have authentic studies to prove that there is a set of Yogasanas, Mayurasana, Mujangasana, Paschimottanasana, Adhamatsindrasana, which when practiced regularly might reduce the dose of antidiabetics, might even reduce the requirement of insulin. Then also the holistic approach. Even when insulin was not discovered in 1921, I have come across some earlier physician's books, handbooks, they are very interesting. They used to advise methi, this fiber, because they didn't have any medicine. So the merits of those, and this was realized by the government when Prime Minister Modi, for the first time, created a separate ministry for Ayush. So what I'm trying to say is the government is now equally supportive of our efforts. There is a proposal to have a dialysis facility in every district hospital. Ayushman Bharat is one of the, I think, best ever health insurance schemes in the world because most of the health insurance schemes do not ensure a person for a disease which is already existing. So, it's the only insurance scheme which exists which ensures you for a pre-existing disease. You detect a malignancy today and tomorrow you can get insured and get the full refund for that. At the same time, as a, as a means of, in an attempt to offer affordable, accessible health care, this government has been consistently coming out with one or the other decision. For example, we reduce the cost of these tents. And in biomanufacturing, we have now given a special impetus. Our, our uh, institute in Trivandrum, that Chitra Institute has uh, now come out very well. We are among the most cost-effective manufacturers of medical instruments. And in biomanufacturing, we have we are now being rated, I think, number 13 in the world and number 3 or 4 in the India-Pacific. And therefore, India is now gradually becoming a more cost-effective, relatively cost-effective, super-specialty healthcare destination. Very recently, we have come out with a biotech, bio-economy policy, considering that the next industrial revolution is going to be bioeconomy driven So, bio E3, that means biotechnology for environment, Bio, because of the recycling thing, biotechnology for employment and biotechnology for economy. And those states, territories will lie in the bed of Himalaya. Which is Jammu Kashmir, which is Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh. Already we have started, Aroma Mission started from Jammu and Kashmir. A new genre of agri startups in the form of lavender cultivators has emerged. It's become popular all over the world. Prime Minister spoke about it in Man Ki Baat also. And therefore, I think the findings of the ICMR India Diabetes, I am sure media will be kind enough to give it due coverage. And I would also request and we will also do it, we will prepare small clippings for social media. Because we have seen that even many of the scientific uh, work doesn't find enough slot in the media, but the technology is so strong that we don't need it. We conducted a longest uh, ever coastal cleaning campaign in 2023, uh, sorry 22 in the world. And we had our own studio set up and our own clippings because people are watching just two minutes video or 30 second read, which you can produce better. And the excess is through that. So we can create, generate awareness. We can generate awareness through infographics, through information dissemination. Also, these are some of the lesser known facts. And uh, of course, with uh, the kind of uh, access and influence that Dr. V. Mohan has across the society, we could be, that could be an asset to all of us. And I think my only hope is that we are able to pick up the right kind of cues from the presentation made by Rajiv. Also take the right kind of measures and uh, succeed putting Jammu and Kashmir in the main course of the mainstream journey of India, uh, both in healthcare as well as in adding to the economy. And the two are very closely interlinked.